um, computer science. And we're working with Visual Basic. Yep, we're creating a tic-tac-toe game. That This is basically the outline for it, and then as we go, there's three parts to it. So towards the end, the X's and L's will actually be created with pictures instead. So we'll reprogram it so there can be two players, and the Basically what I'm doing right now is setting it up so it counts the turns for the X's and O's. So, and it's definitely challenging, but I would say it's worth it and it's great lifelong skills, especially <laughs> in the time that we live in. So. And this, this is a math credit too, right? Yes, it's a math credit and an applied arts credit because this is what I'm taking as my art class. Um, and I believe in some forms it counts for world language as well. So it kind of hits a lot of things in one, one class. So in this game, we created a fun slots machine. So it's basically like the ones that you have in like casinos and stuff. <laughs> so the way that it works is we um, program for how much like the user, how much the user can bet on each run. And then when I press pull, it's programmed to pick. Um, well, I have to start the program first. It's programmed to pick random numbers, and then for each set of random numbers that you get, it um, will give you a, like a value that you win. So if I press pull. Since I didn't get any that are all the same, it doesn't give me any money. So I actually go down, but if I keep pressing, like, I got a pair. So I actually gained a little bit of tokens because what I bet actually paid off. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that's probably my favorite one that we've done so far. It was one of our longer projects. This is the code? Yeah, this is the code for it. We work with Visual Basic, which is a kind of a learning step towards what a lot of advanced programmers use. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this one took probably three days to complete, but Mr. Fox is super good about making sure that we understand it, understand everything, and the point of the labs is to make us better, so. Mm -hmm. Is this kind of turning into maybe like a future for you? Like yes, I would definitely yeah. say so. Computer science is becoming something I'm really, really interested in, and I would say it's entirely because of this class.